I had a vision recently. <laughs> and hear me out, let me explain myself first. I've been a fan of SMG4 for a long time. I think I started watching him when I was in middle school and it's been like, it's been magical watching him turn from a sh like straight up shit poster to like now being like, having like an indie animation studio that turns out like banger after banger content of like all these really good high quality shows. And also like his videos have been going up in quality too. There's like so much to his videos now. It, it needs like an entire documentary. <laughs> like straight up shit posting to like there's new characters, there's plot development, there's character development, like there's reskins of some of the characters, like there's there's arcs, there's lore. No one told me there was gonna be lore. <laughs> so like jumping into a blind, you're gonna be really confused throughout the bat, so you're gonna have to like watch a shit. <laughs> Fans, if you want to get into this fandom, but honestly, it's worth it. Everything has been worth it. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun, like, revisiting some of his older videos to see, like, where he started to where he is now. Especially with the newest arc, Puzzle Vision. Hell, that, that's gotta be, like, my favorite arc so far, and it's not because of Mr. Puzzle. I don't know why you guys could say that. It's totally not because of the TV. <laughs> When I usually join a fandom of like any kind, like say like Mario for example, I usually pick two characters to kind of like love and follow either like through like episodes in the show or like through the video games and whatnot. Like Nintendo for example, I love Luigi and I love Rosalina. Those are those are my two bitches so far. Rosalina kind of changed with Daisy, but like it's, uh, it's neither here or there. All right, we're talking about SMG4. <laughs> For the SMG4 series, for a long time, it was Melanie that I solely loved. And like, hell, I even I even have a plushie of her right here because I think she's a really good character and she needs more screen time. Please, <laughs> let the girl live. <laughs> but as of recently, another character has like, like straight up like snuck it, so I didn't even see it coming for myself. It just kind of like happened one day. I kind of just woke up and then like it was like boom up on, on the top fucking tier. And, and that guy is um, SMG3. <laughs> I don't even have the plushie. I have the marketable plushie. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> Now, this little goblin's been around for like a while. If you're like an OG of the SMG4 community, you know this guy has been like around. <laughs> the first video starring him was called Super Mario 64 Bloopers SMG4 vs SMG3. And then since then, he's been like kind of like featured as the main rival to SMG4, main villain of the series, and now he's like flip sides, and now he's more on the hero side and joining for arcs and in like episodes in between those and whatnot and little, like things on the side. So like he he is very much a reoccurring character. <laughs> now it's why didn't my brain decide to like this guy out of nowhere? No idea. What I can deduce without getting interested <laughs> Well, I think what it comes down to is the way his character is like like made and whatnot, the design and the character development, and also the voice talk. Have you heard this man's lines? <laughs> so, so what do I do with this hyperfixation now that I have it? Well, I uh, do what any good person would do is uh, hyperfix even more with my male characters that I like and just straight up cosplay them. <laughs> I did with Sanji. So I, I might as well do it with this guy. <laughs> now I have to be honest, when I do cosplay characters, I don't make them from scratch. I have no idea how to like to sew or like make shit from my fabric into these beautiful eskits and designs and whatnot. So this won't be like professional, like 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 one to one ratio or anything. Uh, I mean, most of my cosplays that I have are either bought straight up online or I it's kind of like I think it's the technical term is a closet cosplay where you take pieces of the clothing that match the character and you just gotta throw them on which we're kind of gonna go that route <laughs> so for what we're gonna do we're gonna try on well I don't know why I'm saying we I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing all the work here we're gonna do our best to look like this little guy as best as possible <laughs> and through a bunch of research I, I guess we're just gonna go along for the ride <laughs> This should be a ton of fun, right? Yeah, he said yes. <laughs> okay, so the way I'm gonna start this is the well, we first gotta do research. <laughs> we gotta make sure whatever we're gonna like 
like make we gotta make it as accurate as possible so we gotta do research on this character i have my little my little notebook right here of uh it's can i show the bag of this okay and i just wrote down some dates because i was trying to figure out when <laughs> when the busy pop merch was gonna come out <laughs> don't mind that i'm, I'm just wanting to spend my money don't worry about it so i got my notebook i have a pen i am ready to like do research which i guess the first thing that we should do is just just look up the fucking um probably just look up smg3 okay okay there is a wiki okay let's go okay all right this is official this is how you know it's good <laughs> all right so there's a lot there's also a lot of ads <laughs> All right, so this this man's gone through a lot of uh, redesigns. Okay, so this was the original. Holy shit! And then, oh, he, debut. Wait, no, fuck. Oh, there it is. It fixed it. That's what he originally looked like. It was like a darker blue, black overalls, and then brown shoes. I mean, it was just like a Mario reskin. So this is this is the current. So this this is in Blender, which I don't know what Blender means. So we're kind of rep replicating, <laughs> replicating this. So I mean, it's pretty similar to to the, the little plushie right here. I want to which we will be using. This is a reference. So black hair. They did brown for the goatee, like the beard and the and the mustache. But on the character model, it's black. So I'm just gonna go with what's in the show and whatnot. All right. So then there's those black shoes, which I do have black sneakers, but I don't know if I want to commit to the bit all the way, because that actually, I would wear those shoes. <laughs> then there's red eyes. I never worn contacts before. <laughs> I have 2020 vision. I don't need to wear contacts, but I never actually gotten colored contacts for cosplay. So maybe we'll consider getting red contacts. So it's a lot longer. Let's go break this down. So I'm gonna use some cool ass black shoes. Uh, red, uh, con tax, and then, oh, okay, white gloves, so that needs to be a thing. I think there's also the Roman numeral of, like, three on there, so if we get, let's get plain white gloves, and we'll get the, like, some kind of, like, acrylic paint to put on top of it. Alright, white gloves, so smart. All right, and then I I know I have brown hair, but it's also like not this the correct length, so we're gonna have to get a black wig. <laughs> and then for the, for the like the the make, I'll just kind of do the same thing I do with my Sanji cosplay, where I actually I use eyeliner to to make the the shape around it, and then use eyeshadow to kind of like blend in so it looks like an actual like beard shadow, I guess. Also, I don't know what these are. Are these like big ass bracelets? It almost gives me the vibe of like when you go to yoga and you put like the bands on and like on your head and then around your ankles and shit. That's what that reminds me of. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then overalls, purple shirt. So we're gonna need a purple shirt. And then we're gonna need a purple hat, which um, unfortunately they do not sell the SMG3 hat. They sell the SMG4 hat, which if I decide to, I will cosplay SMG4. And just take that hat. So for now, we're gonna have to come up with a hat. So purple shirt and then purple hat. Alright, so what I usually do when I cosplay a character is I look at the description of the appearance because for some reason I struggle to see color. <laughs> Cause like right here I'll be like, yeah, those are purple, like a dark purple overall, and then this bright purple right here. But like. I think, because I was reading some of this off screen because I wanted to see if I can... Here it is. Okay. The new model has a bigger nose, red pie eyes, a more bolded skull shape on its cap with a chip on the left side of its brim, which... Yeah, the plushie does have that. Okay. And his hair ridge slept to the right and his beard updated, now akin to a goatee. The color of his clothes is more purple. Slightly bigger fingers with his gloves, now having black wrist. Okay, so it's like, 
I think I get okay. And the number three of the Roman numerals in the similar manner to Wario and Waluigi, and more diamond shaped to his overall buttons. Which, yeah, that that is on the plushie. I don't know why. Okay, it looks like they hot glue them on. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's on this one. Skull emblem. Sign face form is actor. Where does it say he had black overalls? I swear I read this. <laughs> Fucked it. Hold on. Just go just control F. Didn't I read the word overalls? Oh, well his overalls were black. Okay. So it just looks like it's a tint. Okay, his overalls are black, and then in the new updated one, during War of the, War of the Fat Italians 2022, they made an, like a purplish hue to them. So we can go either way. We can make them like purple, or we can do them. I think black is maybe too much purple, because <laughs> what I love purple. It's a good color. I mean, I got it on my head. But well, I think just to balance it out. So we'll do purple hat. I'll make this emblem out of like fabric and then slap it on the hat. We'll do this is black. And then like this is like still purple and whatnot. And then, oh wait, are they, these coming off? Also, I was like thinking off screen too of like when I was thinking about doing this cosplay. I'm like, which, so I do like the OG, like the, like the current, uh, design for SMG3, or do I do that, like, really cool one, which, hold on, I'll pull it up, because it's actually, like, really cool. So I'm just realizing I don't have sound. <laughs> there we go. See, look at the fit here. <laughs> this isn't that cool, because when I was doing, I was, like, kind of, like, doing research off of my side, I'm like, I need a purple hat, and then, like, I looked up, just straight up purple hat on, like, Amazon for some, like, inspiration, and, like, this purple fedora comes up, I'm like, what? And I was like, that looks really cool, but he doesn't wear a fedora, and then I was like, wait a minute, didn't he wear a fedora? And then, boom. It wasn't purple, though. It was black with, like, this, this purple rim on it, which, honestly, we could pull off. <laughs> If this one goes over well, I will try to imitate this look. <laughs> but for now, <laughs> we're gonna stick with OG. Alright, so to summarize, alright. We need black shoes, red contacts, which is like optional. I don't know what kind of company to trust with that, because I've always been told not to put shit in your eyes, and I can barely take eye drops, so come on. White gloves, uh, black wig, purple short, purple shirt, sorry. <laughs> purple hat. Black overalls. That is our, our list. And then I have fabric for to making the little emblem on his hat and whatnot. And then we'll we'll figure out a thing for the bracelets and the and the shoes. Alright, so I guess we'll I guess we'll start on Amazon first. Alright. Let's see. Let's start first on the list. Let's just go with black shoes. Uh, I probably should do black boots, huh? Boots. Uh, those are too feminine for men. Tactical boots. <laughs> Honestly, wait a minute. Let me cook real quick. These might be good. I'm gonna have to pull this up on the side. Give me a second. They're wa- I don't really give a shit that they're waterproof. I just need them to look nice. I mean, it has that nice rim to it. And whatnot. It's not that bad looking, I'm just looking at it. You know, we can add like some kind of like fabric thing to go around it. Uh, this is a good base so far. This is- this is a good- uh, And honestly, with the thing with boots, I feel like boots would be perfect, but then you also have like this like lace stuff to worry about as well. Should we just go with female? Cause I don't want the- I don't want the heel. Okay, I just look up gender neutral. Do uh, you think Amazon has gender neutral shoes? Wait a minute. These look pretty cool. Hold on. That that I did not ask for that. Wait. Come on. These might actually be cooking. Okay, I could I could see this. This is oh it is women's though. Should I just deal with it? I mean, this this is a good blueprint. 
I'm gonna see if I can find these first, like out and about, like Walmart, Target, that kind of thing. Cause I, when it comes with clothes, I like to try, like clothes and shoes, I like to try them on because like it's a risk of like, what if it doesn't fit? Then I gotta go through the process of returning them, getting my money back and then trying again. That's gonna suck. So, I mean, that, that's a good base. All right, so we have our shoe base. So let's find, I'm not gonna look up right eye contacts on, <laughs> Thing here. I'll ask some of my cosplay friends because some of them wear colored contacts for cosplays. Alright, let's go with white gloves. Oh shit. I need to make sure these are like fabric ones. Oh, oh wait. If I need to make sure, it's just, just type it in. <laughs> like fabric ones. I don't need like those reusable ones. Oh. I don't need 12 pairs. Why the fuck do I even need 12? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to go in the store. Ooh, wait a minute. These look good. Just kind of like the way it is. And also like with, if I get like black fabric, I can make like this little bit into black to kind of fit with it. Also, who the fuck is wearing this to sleep? <laughs> Honestly, these, these do look kind of cool. And it comes with 10 pairs. So if I mess up doing the writing, I can, I can try again. <laughs> All right, there's our good base. I mean, like I said, we're trying stuff like Amazon and like not Amazon. Well, we're Amazon for inspiration. Then we're gonna go out into the real world, try to see if we can find this. Well, except for the wig, because uh, we're gonna need a, a specific wig for this. Okay. This looks pretty decent. Okay. Two. I mean, we're gonna need a, like a men's one. That one looks anime look. Hmm. Honestly, this might be the inspiration right here. <laughs> or maybe maybe this one, because it hangs more towards the face and it actually does look like it drags back a little bit like that. You know what? This this might be the contender. Honestly, the banks kinda look a bit low. Wait, 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 wait. This might be it. It actually looks like from where the eyes are supposed to be, according to this mannequin head. It actually looks like it won't be like in my eyes the entire time and I can and it kinda like goes oh, does this face so Yeah! Yeah, this is Dude, we got this. This is this is perfect. This this might be our contender wig. Alright. Alright, what's our next Okay. Purple shirt, which honestly we might have to get from Amazon because places do not just have just plain shirts. Okay, I need purple, uh, long sleeve shirt. I don't give a shot. Okay. Honestly, it's pretty good. Okay, this. <laughs> Why does the picture look photoshopped? Does it? Does it? It, just, it looks too. Oh, that was definitely put in over with fucking Emma's paint. You, you can clearly see it fucking stands out like a sore thumb. <laughs> oh, this one. At least this guy is wearing it. Yeah, you can tell by like the wrinkles and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, this guy is definitely wearing the shirt. Alright, honestly. This is a pretty close enough purple. Actually, it matches the the, the hat on a bit. Yeah. Dude, weird. Fucking go to that. Okay. Alright. Purple hat. Okay, we can make him have a bucket out. That's that would be pretty cool. Also, this is very fabulous, but it's not what I'm looking for. I was actually thinking, let me see if we find it. This. I think this is what I was thinking, or maybe it was a bit different. Hold on, give me a second. Because when I when I pull one out, to, to like, all right, let me. Pause. This is fabulous. <laughs> the little the little like flower on there. Okay, four men. Thank you. So yeah, I'm trying the hat that I was looking at earlier. This one? Actually, it might be this one. I don't know. <laughs> I can't find it. Wait, that actually looks pretty fucking cool. I mean, it could be a good one. Just saying. This one? Look at all these fucking colors, man. 
Oh, I don't think I can get away with not having the stupid thing in the back. I think these don't have it. No. Am I crazy? Do hats always have that? Aha! Ooh! This one doesn't have the thing in the back. Also, when I saw this... Oh, I'll go back to the thing. I saw this blue hat, it reminded me of the one they have on their website, of the SMG4 website. Which that just says SMG4 on it, so honestly, it's not that far for the brand. <laughs> I, can, I can just get this one. <laughs> Alright, and then last but not least, we need black overalls. I forgot to look up Amazon before I did that, oops. I think that would look fine. Not too much of a design is needed on there, it just, I, it just needs to be an overall. Honestly, putting in the other colors makes you see. Looks like it has a pouch in the middle, which honestly that's not a bad thing, and also it has pockets on the side, which is gonna be good if I bring this into a convention and whatnot. Honestly, pretty good. Okay, zipper in the front for tools. I get, you're supposed to wear this for like construction, I see. Side buttons. Okay, here's this chart. But like, this is for men, and I have no idea what my size is in men's. All right. I think I think that's everything. All right. I mean, these are blueprints, all right, for what we're gonna do. Let me move my, my camera over. <laughs> all right, so, I mean, these are blueprints for right now, so just take this with a grain of salt. It might not look exactly like this, but, I mean, here's our blueprint for the, the shoes, the gloves, the hair, the, the shirt, the, the hat, and then the, the overalls for it. That's what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna see if I can find a company that I trust enough to put shit in my eyes. Who knows? But uh, I will, <laughs> I guess, next, I guess, uh, so cut to the next clip of me having everything and trying my best. Or maybe some of the crafting process. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> also, I'm just realizing he has the, oh, fuck, give me this. He has the cut right here. Oh, shit, that's his hair. He has the cut right here on his hat. Is it gonna be possible for me to cut this like a little bit with like scissors or some shit? It's gonna be some fucking like heavy duty scissors, man. I gotta make sure I do this right. It's like almost like right in the middle that can like <laughs> Alright, we'll see. I will <laughs> you guys know how all this shit turns out. Alright, I have a bit of an update, I guess. I did just get the overalls in, and honestly, this fits pretty cool and whatnot. I had to, <laughs> as soon as I was trying to put it on, the, the shirt immediately, like, went up. So I did have to do some adjusting. <gasps> Wait, it has a zipper on the side? I'm learning so much right now. Wait, I can do- hold on. <laughs> well, it's gonna stay like that, I guess. Honestly, this looks pretty cool, why not? I didn't know the back would have this weird looking texture on it, but it's fine. And guess, dude, it has pockets. I'm gonna look so fabulous. And then I'm gonna dye it, but just as like a little note, if I ever decide to cosplay SMG4, I'm just gonna reorder this. Like, with the same size and whatnot, because honestly, it fits pretty well. I will say though, I bought this from Target, and right when I, <laughs> when I took it out, it has these weird ass fucking stains on it. I don't know why, <laughs> but it feels comfortable. I, I just gotta go through the process of dyeing it. And I do have a, a single sheet of yellow fabric. <laughs> so we can do the little like button things on the uh, over, like overalls and whatnot. Well, I'm gonna do the process of dying it. I probably be, won't record most of it because I have to be on a call with Jolene. I'll probably take shitty pictures of the process, maybe short videos if possible. But yeah, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't. It, hopefully it doesn't turn out bad. <laughs> Little update on the on getting the cosplay stuff. I got parts for for like making it like a fake bomb. It's a fake bomb. <laughs> but I got all the parts, paint, paint brushes, this rope for like, like the, like, all the, <laughs> where it's, it's when you light it, so the thing goes off. I have that and whatnot, so I'm very excited for this. I'll probably show clips of me, like, put this thing together and whatnot, but I get, I get, I stay tuned for that. <laughs>
the crayons. <laughs> Yeah, just throw that in there too. Hold on. Yeah, this is a mighty good old crayon smell. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Honestly, this is not a bad look right now. <laughs> and we got the red contacts in. <laughs> Looks like she's pretty good. I'm actually jealous right now. <laughs> So I finally completed my SMG3 cosplay. It was completed for a while. I've been working on a couple of the pieces for the cosplay and whatnot, because I had to go over and get my dad to help me with a couple things, because I don't know how to cut shit. <laughs> I have every piece that um, emerge. It's all behind me, which I will go through it step by step of what I have and explain why the fuck I got it before we decide to put the whole cosplay on and finish this cosplay video. <laughs> Alright, I guess we should probably do this in order of like how you would put on clothes. So I guess we're gonna start with the shirt first. Now, <laughs> I mean this was just basic. This is inside out. Sorry, I was wearing this and then I <laughs> took it off. <laughs> so I don't know how to put shirts inside out after taking them out. Also, sorry that my fit isn't cool. I'm in immense pain. <laughs> All right, so I got the purple shirt for it. It actually was a very nice color and whatnot. Long sleeve, obviously. Fits pretty nice. My only issue with it is when I put on the overalls, which we'll see in a second, the shirt comes up, so I gotta constantly pull it down and whatnot. But that's that's like a first issue of putting it on. So honestly, it feels nice. What the hell is it even is this? Oh, it's thirty percent cotton, forty percent polyester. Well, what's this? What's the other thirty percent? I don't know. <laughs> All right, next up for like a like stylish choice, I do have these black pants, which I didn't buy these for these this cosplay. I've had these for a while, and I even wear it with my Sanji cosplay and everything. They're nice black dress pants that I've had since like high school. They fit nice. They're long, so you don't see my hairy ass legs. So they fit nice. I mean, if I wear them for Sanji and they they're at, like at this point in my life, it's still pretty good. So might as well not get new pants if I have pants that work. <laughs> Now I have some beef with this piece of clothing, which I'm going to explain now. Not even just like this piece in general, of like just trying to get this thing. Which Elf, when you edit this, feel free to put silly images. Like just put white screen and then shitty stock images to explain my, my, my awful tale. <laughs> So when I originally picked it out on Amazon, I ordered it, and it came in, and not only was it small, but it was the wrong color, so I had to return it, got my money back. My, my second choice was a overall design that I found off of Etsy, and it was perfect. The right color, it had all the, like, a shit ton of sizes, so you couldn't go wrong with it. And it was, it was like just the right way of styling it, that it wasn't like overdoing it in any kind of way. And it looked stupid if I wore it for a cosplay. Uh, the only problem was it was $100 and it didn't have a return policy. So if I got the wrong size, I was shit out of luck for $100. So I had to keep looking. And that's when I found a thing of white jumpers. They're, they're labeled as a jumpsuit, but if you looked at it, it was like, oh, that could fucking pass as overalls and whatnot. It's all one piece. Like the, like the cool anime. <laughs> anyway, I ordered it, and then they're like, if you want this dropped off at your house, it's gotta be 35 and you don't qualify because of $3. So then I got an Arizona iced tea with it, ordered it, only to be told that they ran out. And I'm like, well, that's the only reason why I got the Arizona iced tea, so I got a, my entire order canceled, got refund the money, went back online to order again from Target, but it didn't get shipped to my house, so I had to wait three days. And trust me, I looked in stores, could not find this suit anywhere and whatnot. Finally got it. It was perfect. If I ever decide to cosplay SMG4, I'm gonna reorder that because it was absolutely perfect. Got to the dying process of this, and it went okay. Um, not the greatest. I don't dye things a lot. So I ended up making a mess. <laughs> And it came out the color I wanted, but after a wash, it went light. And not only that, but I stained the dryer with the dye. This thing has been a pain <laughs> since it existed, even before it was in my custody. So here's what it looks like now. It is 
who liked for my liking, even after I put in the wash, it got lighter. Which I don't know how that happened. And one of my shirts got purpler. <laughs> so anyway, this is what it looks like. I'm probably not gonna wear it during the convention because I'm probably gonna use the SMG3 cosplay when I go to Animazement, which who knows when that video is gonna get up. <laughs> It stands out. <laughs> I literally followed the recipe straight by straight. I don't know why. So I'm gonna have to redo dyeing and I can't dye at this house anymore. I'm gonna have to do this in my parents' nice kitchen at some point. That way my mother can yell at me this time. <laughs> All right, anyway, from that kerfuffle, I got a nice wig as well. Try to shape it the best of my ability. I tried adding some volume by like sectioning stuff out and then using hairspray. This is still very soft. Even the parts that I did hairspray, they feel chunky because you know hairspray, but it actually still feels pretty nice and whatnot. It's pretty good. <laughs> and then this one, these were fun to make. I got a set off of Amazon and whatnot, cotton, and I found black fabric paint at um, at Michael's and painted the little cuffs that he wore because I don't know I love like to do that and then painted the little three sign on here which I'll go in and try it on now it's beautiful it was a lot of fun to paint <laughs> to be completely honest and it feels nice and my only issue is that I should probably should have bought gloves that had the um, like the way to open the phones because as you can see with like my thing don't mind the box uh, <laughs> but honestly, these feel pretty good and whatnot. I got the, uh, the, the paint didn't, like, like, dry in a weird way, so it doesn't feel uncomfortable having it on, so that's a plus as well. Honestly, this looks for- I gotta admit, this looks fucking cool as shit. Look at it! Honestly, doing all the paint stuff was, like, the most fun of this project, but we'll get into that during the conclusion when I wear the, the whole thing. Alright, next, another fun part for me to do. I made this prop because, well, if, if you were keeping up with the SMG4 series, SMG3 has this whole, like, threes coffee and bombs where he serves coffee and a bit of explosives on the side, and he constantly pulls bombs out of, like, God knows where. I mean, all the characters kind of have that, and, like, they just pull objects out of themselves. So I made a bomb based off of the one, someone, of the one that he used in Puzzle Vision and whatnot. I think this came out pretty cool. I like the purple that I used, the skull looked pretty nice, and then this was a fun part to do as well, making the little detonate. And honestly, I, it's it's a little crooked because of the way my dad cut it, but I think it adds personality to it. It's so cute! I can't get over it. Alright, this one was a bit of an issue. The hat came late, um, I was able to embroider the little skull hat. My dad was able to cut the thing, but unfortunately for me, I miscalculated a couple things. Well, one, it does fit me. It does not fit me if I wear the wig. So, um, <laughs> it's a little bit small when the wig. So I might in the future, like just go back, reorder this in a bigger size and redo the, uh, the skull thing. So I can have one for, I guess when I'm just doing random, like just to have, and then the other one for the wig. Alright, second last thing, I bought these boots off of Amazon. They actually fit pretty good. I might order another pair, just a little bit of like an upper size for me to get these again, because they are phenomenal. Actually, I might just wear these out just in general, even though I painted the sides of these with the little skulls. They feel really nice. <laughs> it made me feel cool. It felt good to wear something that wasn't sneakers, if that makes sense. Also, these are a size 10, and some of them are still scrunching my feet, so... This is a women's, too. Why do I have such big feet? Alright, and then I ordered this from the official SMG4 store as well. I bought the SMG3 sussy notebook just for, like, props and when I do, like, TikToks and whatnot. Which I find really cute that he wrote to SMG3, love SMG3, signed SMG3 on there. <laughs> I don't know why, it just adds to it. It's like, it's, instead of saying Dear Diary, it's Dear Myself. Me, Myself, and I. I won't show what everything was in here, because that way you guys can actually buy this, but I will show off the last page on here. 
because it's still very cute to me. And when I, I don't know if I'll actually use this because I do technically have a um, a notebook that I do write my own diary in. It's the grimoire from from the busy pop store and whatnot. But honestly, this is really it's very cool. I, I'm definitely gonna use this when I do do TikToks. And I don't know if I bring this to the convention. Maybe I will if I find any cool cosplayers and they can like write their little information in here. And whatnot. I don't know. But that's all the stuff that I have for this. So I guess the next part of this is that I'm going to try it on. I'm not going to put the overalls on because I'm- it's a vendetta now. I'm not going to- <laughs> out of spite. Purely out of spite. Oh yeah, also one last thing. I did- I am going to have makeup on for this. I was able to like have a nice formula down for this of foundation, concealer. I'm- for this- actually- that's a really good point. Where the fuck did I put them? <laughs> I bought contacts for these. I don't- the red ones aren't in here right now. I have blue ones because they were like buy one, get the second one almost free and whatnot. I will show off these and whatnot. They're really pretty. The blue ones actually look pretty cool. So if I ever want to cosplay SMG4, this is it. So, can you guys see that? <laughs> it's too white. I'm trying to tilt this without spilling the water, but yeah, the blue one is in there. And it's very pretty. Same thing with the red one as well. So I guess in a few seconds, you'll see me in full SMG3 cosplay to round out my whole experience of doing this. I'll see you guys in two seconds. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad fit. Honestly. <laughs> now I did try this whole thing on stream. I believe it was during the second part of me making this whole cosplay and whatnot. And, um, maybe Elf will throw in a couple clips of that being made. How do I function sometimes? I'm honestly surprised with myself. Valentino! <laughs> Twin! I think. We got Phoenix Alert, yeah. It was like, bald! <laughs> Motherfucker, I love the big beans. <laughs> Phoenix Elf is roasting. <gasps> There's no way he would never. <laughs> Luke, no. <laughs> okay, she got in. <laughs> seriousness for like two seconds how just, just for two seconds then you guys can go back to making fun of me how is the fit with this like how would you guys rate this cosplay when not uh, knowing that it's smg3 like home mid oh. <laughs> so everything feels pretty good uh, the hat isn't hurting at all neither is the wig it's but Probably after having this thing on for 10 hours at a con, I will let you know how that feels. <laughs> Shirt feels fine. Pants feel fine. The she- oh, I almost flipped my chair. <laughs> the shoes feel fine as well. Honestly, this thing is going pretty well. Honestly, this feels nice to hold as well, so. <laughs> Overall, I think my final judgment of this cosplay that I did Honestly, I think I'd do it like an 8 out of 10 on it and whatnot. I mean, there's still room for improvement. I could try to do better with this stupid wig because there's. I need to fix it a bit. <laughs> Makeup could use some improvement. Overalls definitely need an improvement. <laughs> and uh, maybe I still have lots to learn and whatnot, but I feel like this is a good stepping stone going forward if I ever want to cosplay the entire cast of SMG4 and whatnot. Maybe I'll do SMG4 next, actually, because honestly, I, I mean, for what I have, I mean, like, I have extra gloves, I have, like, a nice pair of overalls, not those, but they were before. <laughs> they were nice overalls before. I mean, and then, like, I could buy, I have the wig, technically, I could buy his hat off of the, the store and whatnot. There's a lot of things I can do with this and whatnot, so... 
maybe in the future you'll see me try to make that cosplay happen. I do even have like the contact lenses, which you can kind of see. I do, I did do the red ones, and you should see me cry my eyes out when I did that. Oh, my eyes were not liking me. Overall, in conclusion, if you ever want to cosplay a character, just do it. Even if it's not like full on professional and all that shit and whatnot, make it your cosplay. And honestly, it, this was a lot of fun. I haven't done a full cosplay like this in years. I've always just been recycling the same ones for conventions. So the fact that I actually got my passion back for doing cosplay and I got to do a character like SMG3, it's, it was a lot of fun, to be completely honest. And I need to do this a lot more often. I don't know why I, I stopped to begin with and whatnot. So. I'm glad this could bring kind of that same kind of passion back, so. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I want to do more of these kind of videos of me making cosplays and you guys seeing like the journey that I go through throughout them. So if you guys like this, leave a like and leave a comment. I probably won't do this for every, like, I won't probably do every SMG4 character. Maybe we'll do some other side ones. Like I want to cosplay Zoro at some point and whatnot. Maybe Nami or Vivi from One Piece. There's a lot of characters I, I wanted to cosplay for so long, so maybe doing this and whatnot. You guys can also see my process with it as well. <laughs> also, just keep track of all the other videos of uh, that I'm uploading of the um, Pokemon shit. Is that still going? I don't know. Just look out for videos. I'm always constantly uploading and doing live streams, so. And also, big shout out to SMG4 for making the series. I loved that this series as a kid. And when I remember watching this in middle school and I didn't have that kind of like people to talk to about it because I mean like I barely had friends let alone people that watched SMG4. So the fact that like now I'm getting to cosplay and I'm part of the like subreddit now and I, I constantly have people on my, my YouTube feed of like my homepage that make content about the SMG4 that I get to watch and enjoy. It feels like a bond, if that makes sense. So I'm glad I, I get to have that. <laughs> but anyway, my name is Phoenix. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>